In this section, we'll see what is Netmico and how to use Netmico for day-to-day -day network automation task. Netmico is primarily used for simplifying SSH connection to network devices. And Netmico provides an abstraction of network device, SSH communication. It also uses Paramico in the backend for SSH connectivity. But here, with very minimal lines of code, you can initiate SSH and execute the command. So you need to install Netmico manually from the terminal. Either you can execute pip install Netmico or in the PyCharm you need to go to file settings and in the interpreter you need to search for Netmico. Click on install package and this will install the latest Netmico package in the PyCharm interpreter. And let me go back to the documentation and here you can see one example first we need to import connect handler then we need to define the device here you can see an additional argument called device type based on this device type let me you can change the logic in the backend to connect to the device and to execute the show command we can just use the send command method and if you compare this code with Paramico, in Paramico, first we need to use invoke shell, then we have to manually give terminal length zero. And for all the commands, we need to give even slash n and time dot sleep. We need to add even additional delays and manually decode the bytes data. And all these operations, Netmico is automatically doing in the backend. So with very minimal lines of code, we can automate your network device configuration task and this is having wide range of device support so here you can see supported device types can be found in ssh dispatcher.py and we'll open that from github and here if you see under this particular class mapper can see the list of devices this supports this supports a whole lot of network devices and we will see cisco ios example and i'll open this particular class ios base and this is going to ios ssh and that is referring to ios base let me open that And I'll go to Cisco base connection. And you can see here in the Cisco base connection, you have a method called enable. If you give enable, this will automatically go to the enable mode. You can see the description also like this. You can check whether the prompt is into, into the config mode or you can get into the config mode using this and all this operations are by default available in Netmico. This class is specific to Cisco device. Like this, they have separate class and methods for individual vendors. And this is primarily written by people who are having network engineering background. This is a good library to learn for all the network engineers to easily automate their task. And whenever you're using, I would suggest you to use the latest one you can update if you're using older one because they'll be releasing the updates frequently. You can see the release history here. Now, if you want to see all these device types supported, first we will import connect handler from Netmico import connect handler either connect handler or you can import netmico we'll see both and i can click on this netmico press ctrl b and from here you can see it is alternate naming so i can click on connect handler and press ctrl b and this will be taking us to sshdispatcher.py and here also we were opening 
same file ssh dispatcher.py and from there you can take the base connection and here we should be able to see all the devices supported and from here I can click on Cisco IOS press Ctrl B and IOS base and Cisco base connection so here also you should be able to see all the logics and methods so to get into enable mode we can use the connect handler dot enable then to exit out of enable mode we can use this and to check whether device is in config mode we can use this particular method and we can see multiple methods here so let's write script using netmiko i'll close all this and i have imported netmiko now from this documentation we'll copy one example we'll take a copy of this and i will call this csr and device type is going to be cisco ios and i'll give the device ip 168.0.63 Username is admin. Password also is admin. And by default port number is 22. So I don't have to explicitly give here. So I can remove these two lines. And now we have a device defined here. Now we can use net connect equal to Either we can give connect handler or netmiko. So I'll give netmiko and I'm going to pass the keyword argument. So I need to give two stars here and the variable name is CSR. And once you're connected, I'll print connected successfully. And we'll try to print the DAR of net connect. So let me try running this. So this is able to connect to the device successfully. So now we don't have to do any of these operations manually. So everything is happening automatically in the backend using netmiko. And we'll see the methods and attributes of this so here so we can see some methods for sending the configurations so we can see here send command and send command expect then send command timing send config from file so we'll see how to send the configuration to send show command we can directly use send command method here i can create a variable show output equal to net connect dot send command and i'll give show run and we can print the show output And this will connect to the device and print the output so whatever we were doing with paramico earlier in this so this is doing in netmiko with very minimal lines of code and now before sending the config if you want to get the device prompt you can print net connect dot find prompt and we can see the documentation of that you can press ctrl b here 
and here you can see the description finds the current network device prompt let me try running this so this is the device prompt like this if you want to check we'll do a print of netconnect dot check config mode So it is showing false but if we try checking enable mode so here this will be printing true because already we are into enable mode and I'll comment this and if I want to get into the config mode you can do net connect dot config mode so this will get into config mode and after that I'll check whether this is in config mode so here before getting into config mode it is printing false after that it is printing true and after that we can even try printing the device prompt let me try running this so here even the prompt has changed to config so these are some basic examples of let me go and how to handle the device prompts in the next tutorial we'll see how to send show commands